What's up keepers and welcome back to Harris Goalkeeping. And today we're going to be taking a look at the full infield review of the Puma Future Z, the newest Puma strapless glove to take the game by storm, sporting this extremely tacky elite plus latex and they also signed Manchester City keepers Ederson just recently and he's using an SMU or a special makeup of these gloves. Now the Puma Future Z is hands down the best Puma glove of 2021. Mixed in with their best latex yet, it's no surprise that they have an all-star group of goalkeepers rocking the Z model, which comes in a hybrid roll negative cut, which has rolled latex on the outer pinky and pointer fingers, while the middle two fingers are negative styled for a supremely close fit that still gets as much latex onto the ball as possible. And speaking of latex, we have 4mm of Elite Plus foam on the palm, which has been the go-to latex for Puma in the past few models for good reason. It's definitely up there in the top 5 when it comes to stickiness on the glove market. Now the material on the backhand feels like a knitted fabric. It's not particularly thick, which makes the Puma Future Z an extremely lightweight pair of gloves. And the biggest weight adder is the backhand across the knuckles that is made up of a thicker, smooth, uh, neoprene and plastic dripped material across the knuckles for a pretty cool aesthetic that also says future in the text. And while the gloves aren't particularly thick, they did deal with hard shots well. And the wrist insert goes down a lot farther than your standard glove, which in my opinion is a must if you're going to try to make a strapless glove. There needs to be some sort of anchor to the material staying on the hand no matter what. And one of the biggest identifiers when it comes to strapless models from Puma is that they use zippers as their wrist closure. And while at first I didn't really like zippers, they really never got in the way and they didn't poke my hands at all. It's definitely a different innovation, but it works pretty freaking good as well. And it's something that I ended up really enjoying. And while the Puma Future Z is the best glove Puma has right now in 2021, it is hardly their newest glove. Because take a look right here, if you look at these past models, they're confusingly named the Puma Future 19.1 or the Puma Future Grip 5.1, you can see that next to each other, the differences are pretty small, and at times, hard to spot between these gloves. And that's because, seriously, they are almost the same glove. Short of a change in the plastic dripped onto the knuckles or the small palm wrap, uh, all these gloves have a knitted backhand with the same zipper wrist insert and 4mm of Elite Plus latex on their palms. With only this dark green camo pair being any different, both with a different latex and a different material on the backhand, but overall the cut and idea of the glove is the same as all the other pairs, especially the Puma Future Z. Now this could be an example of the old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because as a strapless model, it works. The cut and latex go hand in hand and keepers everywhere still use these gloves. So why would Puma change something that's obviously already working? And the performance and field testified to the quality of the gloves. The Elite Plus latex is an impressive latex that rivals even Super Grip and URG 1.0. And handling shots was pretty easy, even with the extra weighted footballs I like to use in training. This knitted material, while extremely light, is very easy to move around, so my hands felt pretty free and unrestricted, which I have been getting more annoyed with as some gloves are just too restrictive, and this extra long wrist entry in the zipper clasps does a pretty good job at making the gloves stay in place and making it a lot easier to slide them on, which is another problem I've been having with a lot of these gloves. I end up damaging them more often putting them on than I do when I train. Now let's take a look at our gloves after about three weeks of training. And what I noticed right away was the durability levels of this Elite Plus Latex. Just like in their previous models, the Elite Plus Latex is not very durable at all. In fact, peeling up on the fingertips on your first session training is probably going to happen. Just due to the quality of this latex, the stickier and softer it is, the quicker it will shred rubbing up against the ground. And for the most part, when you have gloves that can stick to themselves, you can expect that they will also tear a lot faster. And the Elite Plus foam on these Future Zs is no exception. But in terms of durability for a high quality latex, the Zs don't do too poorly. Yes, the latex is ripping on the fingers already, which is why I probably would never recommend a pair of these Futures as a training glove. I would only recommend them as a high quality game or tournament glove. And when it comes down to the quality of the workmanship and the rest of the goalkeeper glove, the Puma Future Z is a beauty. 
The backhand and the wrist insert do a superb job in making me almost forget about how bad I wish the gloves had a wrist strap. And the newer neoprene across the knuckles made the Z model a whole lot more comfortable and smooth feeling. And for the price of about 130 US dollars or 95 British pounds, the Z's durability and price sets them as a game glove only. That will last you a full season of just matches and that is if you take good care of them and have good diving technique. So yeah, that's pretty much it for our video, y'all. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. I love to hear and comment with you guys down there. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you all very soon.